Mike, Mike, come on, get no, hey, you're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself. Mike, stand clear. Mike, get off of the lift, please. I'm fine. Come on I'm now. Fine. I'm fine. Here Ma we go. Would you look? Get off the no, oh, oh! Oh! We'll get somebody to clean that up. We're the ones that gotta clean that up. Damn it, Michael! We have to have this thing serviced. Val, I need the space. All right, guys, clear out. Everybody out. Promise me you're going to clean up. I can't promise what I'm going to do or not do. You promise me that you're going to Obviously, gonna... I'm going to clean up. Stress is like the uptight mayor of a town who's saying, hey, we're uptight, you can't dance. And then you have to be like, oh, yeah, Mayor Stress? Well, watch this. And then we dance. Oh, how we dance. Sex also works. Old front, coming into the warehouse. Uh-oh! Better put on your ski boots! Whoa! Happy New Year, Daryl! Hey, Daryl! You ever done this? Okay, 300 boxes of 20-pound white. That's 75 boxes per person, so that's not so bad. Negative. 300 boxes for me, zero for you chumps. Deal with it. Nice. Oh! Oh! Damn. Yep. <clears throat> I have already put down the deposit. Do you understand how a deposit works? Mike, I am not having fire eaters in a paper warehouse. It's casino night, like Las Vegas. There are fire eaters all over the place. Except my warehouse. Well, actually, it's my warehouse. I'm just going to put this over there. This is not a good idea right here. You do that, OK. Message in a bottle, the postman. Kevin Costner. Yeah. And I... So, I found this grease, and then I remembered that you thought it was a great idea. You did say it was a great idea. I heard you say it. So, it's not the dumbest idea. It's not the greatest one but either. But the fact remains we gotta move these boxes. And it's clear we're not gonna carry them. <laughs> So sadly, it's the best idea on the table. Exactly. Hey, I think we're ready to give this. Yep. Is he okay? He'll be fine. Thank you to our hosts. Hey, Michael. This ain't over. What is going on? Oh, hey, guys. Why is the forklift in the wall? Why is the truck empty? Uh, it's not totally empty. Is that grease on my floor? Okay. I can see why you're angry you're coming into this cold, but believe me, a lot of thought went into this. And did your brains tell you to ruin these boxes with grease? Okay, Daryl, listen, and then you will understand. The boxes were ruined during our first trial testing, so now it's cool because we found another use for them. Okay. All right, that's... Look, all we were trying to do is we thought we could come up with a more efficient way to do things. And? And we did. I don't know. Jim, tell them what it's called. That's all right. No, Jim, Jim tell them what a name is. Doesn't matter what the name is. Senior Lodenstein, that's stupid. Senior Lodenstein. Tell them why it's called that, Jim. That's okay, we're good. Jim. Now, Jim, tell us why it's called Senior Lodenstein. Poor chaos, we wrap it up. Okay, you know what, it's been a real busy day. What do you say we put all this away? Let me see it. 
It's, uh, it's in beta testing. Let me see it! Get the thing, go! Right. Lube it up. Kevin, start mopping. Uno, dos, tres! Uh... Yeah, I lost my client. Okay, Jimmy, this is for you to show you that anything is possible. Fantastic. Right? Yep. This is also for the troops. Doctor is in! Now, this is the forklift. You need, you need a license to operate this machine. That means the upstairs office workers can't drive it. Quiz, Mike, should you drive the forklift? I can and I have. No, 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 no. I said should you. You should not drive it. You should not drive the forklift. You You're not allowed that? to drive the forklift. It's not safe. You don't have a license. Guys, I'm not the only one who's driven the forklift. Pudge has driven the forklift. Madge. I thought your name was Pudge. No, it's always been Madge. Okay. Um, her. Her, yes, her is qualified to work a dangerous machine. You are not. Okay? Uh, fine. Do you understand that? Yes. We do safety training every year or after an accident. We've never made it a full year. This particular time, I was reaching for a supply box on the top shelf when one office worker, who shall remain nameless, kicked the ladder out from under me and yelled, Hey, Daryl, how's it hanging? <laughs> and I fell and busted my ankle. And I'm legitimately scared for my workers. The baler can flatten a car engine. It can cut off your arm and crush your entire body without skipping a beat. Yeah. How many people a year do you think get their arms cut off in a baler? Baylor, I hardly know her. Damn it, Michael, pay attention, man. Anybody yes. want to take a guess? Five bucks says Anybody. it's over 50. You really want to bet? Anybody. Ever since March Madness ended, I am so bored. How many? OK, you're on. 10 people, Michael. 10 people. Would you like to be one of them? No, you don't worry about alert. it. Let's just go double or nothing. Because on what? I don't know. We'll figure something out. What are you guys talking about? These are very dangerous machines down here, and the upstairs workers, Michael, should not go anywhere near them. Yes, yes. But it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It would be the worst somebody, thing in the world. It the would hell very is wrong much so. With this man? It's a big red trash what compact. You, it's and not that's a very trash dangerous. Okay. It's it's a right, 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 right. I got it. I got it. Only on the rarest of occasions. No, would do I not go touch near it. it. There is no occasion for you to go near this stuff, okay?